एवरीवन आई एम सीमा श्रीवास्तव फ्रॉम सेंट जोसेफ सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल पेपरिया टुडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू लेसन नंबर सिक्स फ्रॉम एम सी बी दैट इज मेन कोर्स बुक द नेम ऑफ चैप्टर इज मिस्टर पर्क्स बर्थडे रिटन बाय एडिथ नेस बेट नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट रीडिंग ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स मिस्टर पर्क्स बर्थडे वॉम अप The present lesson is an excerpt taken from the Railway Children, a children's book by Edith Nesbitt. The novel revolves around three children: Roberta, Bobby, Peter, and Phyllis Phil, who are disciplined, well-groomed, sensitive, and compassionate. They feel happy in making others happy. The editor of a magazine had written to say he was going to publish one of mother's stories. So mother gave Peter some money for buns. The children looked at each other and then Bobby said, "Mother, would you mind if we didn't have the buns for tea tonight? But on the 15th, that's next Thursday I don't mind said mother but why because it is mr perks birthday said bobby and he doesn't keep his birthday any more he has been so jolly decent to us you know mother said peter mother had no objection the children now had a meeting only buns did not make a grand celebration Hurray! cried Peter suddenly. I have got an idea. The others asked eagerly, "What?" Why, Perks is so nice to everybody. There must be lots of people in the village who would like to help to make him a birthday present. Let's go round and ask everybody. The first person they asked was the old lady. at the post office she only appeared annoyed and said she didn't see why perks should have a birthday any more than anyone else i should like everyone to have one only we should know when it is said bobby mine's tomorrow said the old lady and much notice anyone will take of it go along now so they went and asked other people some of them were kind and some were rude and some would give and some would not it was a rather difficult work asking for things even for other people when the children got home and counted up they felt that for the first day it was not bad very early next morning bobby and phyllis got up and cut a big bunch of roses they put it in the basket together with a needle book philip had made for bobby and a very pretty blue necktie then they wrote a piece of paper for mrs ransom with our best love because it is her birthday and put it in the basket too then they took it to the post office put it on the counter and ran away before the old woman saw them in the meanwhile peter told mother what they were doing mother hoped that mr perks would not be offended and think it's charity the poor people could be very proud she said she promised that she would give things which phyllis had outgrown for mrs perks children if he wouldn't mind i can't do much she said because we are poor ourselves on the morning of the 15th the children collected all the things and walked down to the village they had to go past the post office the old lady was standing at the door step She stopped them and gave a basket of gooseberries for Mr. Perks. 
She thanked them for their present and said, You are good little souls. She also gave them a pram for Mrs. Perth's baby. It had belonged to her daughter who lived only for six months. She hoped Mrs. Perks would find it useful. The children were delighted. All the presents were put in the pram and they wheeled it to the little yellow house where Perks lived. When Mrs. Perks saw the presents, she gasped and then sat down and started crying. The children were horrified, but she stopped as abruptly as she had started and thanked the three children. Just then they heard Mr. Perks come in. Oh, let's hide in the back kitchen, said Bobby to Mrs. Perks. First give your present to him, then we all come in and shout many happy returns. But it didn't turn out as they had planned. When Mr. Perks saw all the presents that the children had brought, he shouted, I won't stand it. I will not accept charity from anyone. Nell, he yelled at the children to come out. Phyllis burst into tears. We didn't mean any harm, stammered Peter. Mr. Perks said angrily, So you have been telling all our neighbors we are poor. You can take all your presents and give them back to whoever gave them. Go away. He then turned his back to them. Peter and Phyllis were ready to go, but Bobby said bravely, Before we go, I would like to to read out what people said when they gave the presents mothers pass first. Little clothes for Mrs. Perks' children. I hope Mr. Perks won't feel offended and think it's a charity. He is so kind to my children. I cannot do much because we are poor ourselves. That's all right, said Perks. Your mother is a bond lady. We'll keep the little frocks. Then there's a pram and gooseberries from Mrs. Ransom, said Bobby. She said, it's my little Amy's pram. I would have given it before if I had been sure that Mrs. Perks would accept it. I am not sending the pram back, said Mrs. Perks. And Perks nodded thoughtfully. Then the shovel, Mrs. James and Iron Spit made it for you himself. He said it was a pleasure to make something for a man as he is so much respected, said Bobby. And anybody who gave anything said they liked you. The old gentleman gave a good pound for you and said you were a man who knew his work and I thought you would love to know know how people like you. Goodbye. I hope you will forgive us someday. Bobby could say no more and turned to go. Stop, said Perks, still with his back to them. I take back every word I said. He turned to face the children. I am very pleased, not so much with the presents, but the kind respect of our neighbors. There were tears in his eyes, but no one said a word about them for fear he would get angry again. Everything was fine after that. Mr. Perk's children, who had run out into the garden when they heard their father shouting, now came in. So they all had tea together and toasted Mr. Perk's health. Jolly good little kids. Those are, said Mr. Perk to his wife after the children had left. Written by Edith Nesbitt. Word meanings. Decent, kind and good. Eagerly, anxiously or impatiently. Appeared, seemed, offended, 
हर्ट इंसल्टेड प्राउड कॉन्शियस ऑफ वंस डिग्निटी गुजबेरीज ए काइंड ऑफ फ्रूट एब्रप्टली सडनली येल्ड शाउटेड एंग्रीली स्टैमर्ड अटर्ड और स्पोकन विथ पॉज आयन स्मिथ अ पर्सन हु वर्क्स विथ आयन जॉली गुड प्रिटी गुड क्वाइट गुड द स्टोरी मिस्टर पर्क्स बर्थडे इज टेकन फ्रॉम नॉवल द रेलवे चिल्ड्रन विच वॉज रिटन बाय एडिथ नेस्बिट द स्टोरी स्टार्ट विद वेन द चिल्ड्रन बॉबी फेलिस एंड पीटर डिसाइडेड टू सेव देयर मनी गिवन बाय देयर मदर टू सेलिब्रेट मिस्टर पर्क्स बर्थडे their mother gives them money to buy buns but the children ask their mother if they could buy the buns on 15th thursday instead of today when mother asks them why bobby tells her that they want to celebrate mr perks birthday on 15th as mr perks does not celebrates his birthday anymore then later when children held a meeting they realized that only buns would not make a grand celebration then the children got an idea that mr perks is very nice to everybody so everybody would like to contribute something for to make his birthday special then they went to various people to ask them to contribute something for mr perks birthday some people contributed something but some had not contributed anything on the other hand the mother of the children was worried that mr perks will think of gifts as charity and might get angry and unfortunately that really happened when mr perks saw all those gifts at first he got very furious and shouted at the children because he thought that gifts are charity as he was poor later then bobby bravely told him that the gifts are not given as a charity instead they are given by the people to tell you how great you are and thankful they are for your jolly and kind nature Mr Perks realized that he was wrong about them and suddenly took his words back and accepted those gifts he also said that he is very pleased not by the presents but the respect given to him by his dear neighbors thank you